guys, so here we go. And bear with me, as I said, this is gonna be an unboxing and also a full feature video. So uh, it's gonna take some time, but we're gonna go through it together. Uh, which one do we open first? Uh, sorry, today's wristwatch check. I'm wearing the Seiko Safarni. I'm uh, <laughs> still loving this watch. It's uh, really huge, but I'm loving it. It's really comfortable and I'm gonna wear it a lot more but let's get back to Christopher Ward I think we're gonna begin with the, the lower one because I actually forgot which is which so we're gonna put that away to the left there out of the frame and open this up <sighs> the boxes are actually identical so I'm gonna open the first one carefully and speed through the second one uh, they say on the Christopher Ward uh, webpage that the box is actually ecologically uh, made in some way this is some kind of wood maybe bamboo I don't know this is some kind of rubbery plastic it's thick it's nice heavy and it opens up just like this Oop, put that away here we have some paperwork you can just take them out like this inside of this little paper I think we should see yeah this should be there should be a cleaning cloth in here but it's actually in there so let's just put that back. You get a nice little cloth with your Christopher Ward watch. Yeah, I don't have time for that. And then you have the paperwork, uh, owner's handbook, little about the movement, about their philosophy, about the watches that they have, and etc. etc. Yeah. And then we have the warranty card, I think. Yeah, there it is. Warranty card 6060 guarantee. And actually, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the 60-60 guarantee because it's a great warranty that they offer you. I mean, it's not a warranty. The 60-60 guarantee is that you're... It's actually... It's, you have 60 days to return the watch if you're not happy with it. I mean, you can order it home, take a look at it, not size it because if you size it, the guarantee is void. But you can look at it, feel it on your wrist, and if you don't like it, send it back within 60 days. And the other 60 is um, you have 60 days to return your watch for a full refund. And uh, um, but for absolute peace of mind, its movement is also covered under warranty for 60 months. That's a five year warranty on a watch for a thousand euros. That's really great. And as you may might have spotted it in the background, this is the GMT, the Sealander. GMT and there we have the cleaning cloth. It's a nice black little cloth And there it is, but before I show you the watch I have to m Do something about the shadow here and the light. Just give me a second and we're back so Here it is the Christopher Ward C63 Sealander GMT uh, Let's take it off of this little Thing that it hangs on and put this little box away <sighs> and I'm not gonna lie to you guys I've actually this is not a fresh unboxing as I said in the intro I've actually unboxed these watches both of them sized them for my wrist and I've worn them for a little bit that's why I can talk about some specifications and some positives and some negatives but let's just take a look at this beautiful little uh, Explorer-esque watch as you can see we have the Explorer vibes here we have that white dial we have the orange GMT hand and the orange details and we have that fixed uh, stainless steel bezel uh, the GMT bezel going around it it's a beautifully beautifully done watch but it's not a pure homage like other watches that I featured on the channel like uh, Pagani design because this is a this is the proper way many many might say this is the proper way to do a homage you take inspiration from a watch that you like and you sprinkle in your own design and then you come up with something totally new I mean the hands are all different I'm loving the trident second hand right there and the the hour markers are batons instead of uh, circular rings like on the Explorer there are so many differences but you can clearly uh, see where the design is inspired from and that's clearly the Rolex Polar Explorer a beautiful watch in its own this little c63 sealander 
and as you can see on the case here we have some really nice transitions between brushed and polished parts you can see that stainless steel bezel is brushed on the top then we have a little polished line running along the side there then it's brushed once again then we come to the actual case we have some polishing on those uh, lugs and then we have brushed on the sides and then it goes right back to polished once again just before uh, the case back begins there nicely done we have a stamped crown with the Christopher Ward logo many actually prefer the old Christopher Ward logo uh, but um, yeah I don't know I'm liking the new one and as I actually went out of my way to set the time right and to uh, <laughs> do everything right so both watches are actually in sync for once and then the little GMT hands is actually uh, obscuring the date window there let's see if I can move it out of the way um, winding up the watch is buttery buttery smooth and I'm gonna take it one click out and move that little GMT hand I forgot if it's up or down I think it's up yeah we're gonna move it out of the way there we go and there we have the date window at six o'clock with a color matching date wheel as you can see it's white Swiss made at the bottom there at 6 Christopher Ward just beneath the 12 o'clock automatic GMT 150 meters 500 feet of water resistance beautiful beautiful watch applied indices I'm loving that sword our hand and I'm liking the orange details in the dial and I'm really in love with the Christopher Ward trident that's on the second hand a beautiful beautiful watch the bracelet uh, let's take a look at that as you can see it's all brushed we have no polished details here which is actually a great thing in my little mind because it keeps away those hair lines it's really perfectly perfectly done the clasp is milled Christopher Ward logo right there and the Christopher Ward logo on the clasp itself. It's a three-fold clasp with two pushers to open, and that's what it looks like right there. But the crown jewel of the clasp, the king of the day, is actually that it has the quick adjustment glide lock system right there. It's not glide lock because glide lock is Rolex, but as you can see, we have a little button if my camera could focus right there you press that one down and the clasp extends or you can take it away back in gives you that little little extra that you need on hot summer nights or if it's cold outside you could take it in a bit it's just uh, I wish all watches could have a glide lock system but on the bracelet uh, we have the dreaded I mean it's not as dreaded as push pins but these these suckers they're pins and colors and they're really horrible I had a horrible experience sizing this bracelet because I couldn't I mean I broke my Bergeon tool on one of these pins and colors it's just it just wouldn't budge it just wouldn't move and uh, yeah horrible experience but maybe but I actually didn't have the same experience on the Trident Pro so uh, when I pulled out the pin I saw that it was a little crooked so that made it really hard to take out but yeah I really wish they would have had uh, screws on a watch in this price range I mean you're paying a you're paying a thousand euros and actually the retail price for this one is 1255 euros and we are paying that amount of money you would wish that the, the the bracelet actually had screws it's a great bracelet don't get me wrong and of course my neighbor is starting up some huge industrial machine to do some work I'm really hating this always when I'm trying to film always they just have to put on something like this yeah that's for what the weekends are for I guess but let's get over to the specifications so the C63 Sealander GMT it costs you 1,255 euros 
And the movement inside of it is a Celita SW330-2 with 56 hours of power reserve, 25 joules. It beats at 28,800 beats per hour and the tolerance is between plus to minus 20 seconds a day. Not the best tolerance in the world, but it's it's a Swiss movement. It is what it is. The diameter of the Sealander is 39 millimeters. The thickness is 11.85 millimeters. The lug width is 20 millimeters. The lug to lug is 45.8 millimeters. And the weight on the bracelet is 157 grams. We have a water resistance of 150 meters. We have a sapphire glass with AR coating. Uh, the loom, I'm going to show you the loom in the loom section, but it's a Super Luminova Grade X1 GLC1. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to show you the loom. And yeah, those are all the specifications of the Sealander GMT. Let's try it on the wrist. This is what it looks like on my 20 centimeter wrist. Uh, I think it looks great. It wears great. Uh, it's really slender with those below 12 millimeters uh, thickness. The bracelet is really comfortable. So is the clasp. And yeah, a great watch. But let's head straight over to unbox the C60 Trident Pro. Here's the box and we're gonna do this really really fast because we already saw the box. It's the exact same box as the GMT or I mean as the Sealander. Paperwork, paperwork, paperwork and there you have the actual actual watch. Let's take it off this thing, put it over there and here it is. This is the C60 Trident Pro 600 and as you might have guessed the 600 actually stands for 600 meters of water resistance beautifully I mean it's a classical black diver as you can see black dial black ceramic bezel insert white indices really contrasting really good really legible uh, Christopher Ward logo at the nine o'clock and we have a date with a color matched date wheel at the three o'clock right there and then we have automatic 600 meters written just above the six o'clock it's a classical looking watch with really nice dimensions uh, yeah it's beautiful and it, actually the case even though it's not the exact same size but I think that comes to the it's because of the bezel more than to the case but the case is exactly the same as on the Sealander at least I think we have really nice details between I mean transitions between polished and brushed as you can see right here uh, you see the polished top on the case there then we have the brushed middle then we have the polished part again and uh, the lugs are brushed on the top and then we have that little line of polishing oh sorry I was out of camera there uh, as you can see the lugs are brushed on the top and then we have that little line of polish right there the bracelet is all brushed as it should be on a tool watch in my opinion really a uh, nice bracelet the exact same bracelet as on the Sealander there's nothing new to show you here it's the exact same clasp the exact same bracelet with those horrible pins and colors and then we have the exact same beautiful and wonderful uh, quick adjustment system in there uh, I mean I don't know what I'm what I'm I don't know if I can say more about these kinds of uh, quick adjustment systems I really think that it should be a standard on all watches today but it isn't uh, let's take a look at the bezel action this is a ceramic bezel it's a bi-directional bezel no sorry 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 this is a unidirectional 120 clicks ceramic zirconia bezel and let's take a listen to how it sounds
I can tell you that this bezel is actually one of the best bezels that I've tried on. It's almost on par with my Gino bezel. It's really, you have confirming clicks between all the clicks, but they're not loud and pingy. They're actually uh, subdued and it sounds really great. We have some movement actually, if you wiggle the bezel, it actually has some movement between clicks, but when it clicks, it clicks, it doesn't go back. It just has some little play and that's a shame but it's really precise and it's really perfectly aligned I like the sound I like the full smooth smooth feeling of it it's a great bezel uh, that's all I can say it's a great great bezel so let's uh, head over to the specifications of the C60 Trident Pro the movement inside of this baby is a Celita SW200-1 it has 38 hours of power reserve 26 joules and it beats at 28,800 beats per hour and the tolerance is exactly as on the GMT it's plus to minus 20 seconds a day the diameter of the C60 Trident Pro is 40 millimeters so it's a little bigger than the GMT the thickness is 12.95 millimeters so it's a little thicker than the GMT as you might have suspected because of the 600 meters of water resistance uh, lug width 20 millimeters exactly the same as the sealander because it's the exact same bracelet and the lug to lug is 47.46 millimeters it's a little heavier than the GMT at 178 grams it has a 600 meters water resistance it has a sapphire glass with uh, 3.4 millimeter sapphire glass with anti-reflective coating the uh, loom is exactly the same as the sealander super luminova grade x1 glc1 and we talked about the bezel great looking watch and let me show you the case back right there because i forgot to show you the case back on the sealander i'm gonna uh, rectify that right away Christopher Ward Trident Pro 600 you have that nice 3d printed trident and we have these little holes running around maybe for giving your wrist some air or it's just a design cue and we have really easy access for strap changing here as you can see on that uh, bracelet the end link there you just pull in those little push pins take it off put it on a NATO put it on a rubber strap whatever you want it's a strap monster since it's a classic looking diver and the same goes for the Sealander GMT on the if you turn it around it actually has an open case back where you can see that custom rotor from Christopher Ward really nicely done uh, showing you that Celita GMT movement and uh, we have the exact same system of removing the bracelet right there making this also a strap monster and Christopher Ward are actually selling great nylons and straps on their website so two great Christopher Ward watches one is a diver and the other one is a GMT the Trident the Sealander great watches both of them and they actually have some common positives and some common negatives so we're gonna go over that a little quick here because one of the let's start with the positives and and I know let's start with the negatives and end on a positive note so the negatives I really hate pins and collars I mean I might I might uh, consider that there are some benefits with the pins and collars screws can unscrew themselves maybe that's happened to me once on a cheap Pagani or Parnas watch but I've never never experienced it before but sure they can unscrew themselves logically and pins and collars will never come off but they are horrible to work with pins and collars are I mean even though they are more secure than just regular pins they are more horrible to work with and I really hate pins and collars so maybe it's a money issue I don't know why they don't have screws on such a great bracelet as this one but if it's uh, if it has some logical explanation please let me know but if it's just a money saving thing come on it's a thousand euros watch it should have had screwed links but it might be that there is a logical explanation the other things that I do not like and that I actually would have uh, liked to be different is actually I would have liked to see a flat sapphire 
I don't know why, but I think, especially on the GMT, that raised sapphire, I think it would have looked better if the sapphire was flat to the to the case, to the bezel. I don't know why, it's just maybe, and maybe if I would have seen it with a flat sapphire, I would have thought otherwise, but yeah, now I'm gonna take it as a, as a negative. I would have liked to see a flat sapphire. So, but let's go to the positives. I mean, first of all, the looks. This one is a classically looking diver, not too thick for it being a 600 meters diver. It's really comfortable to wear. Oh, actually, sorry, my friends, I did not try it on the wrist. I'm going to do that now, but I showed you footage within the video with me wearing it on the wrist. 20 centimeter wrist, C60 Trident Pro. I mean, Christopher Ward, they just make beautiful, beautiful watches with their own design but still classically looking i mean yeah but let's let's head on straight back to the positives again so the positives uh the bracelet one of the most positive things about this watch is the bracelet it's really comfortable it's really nice looking it's all brushed and especially the clasp with that quick adjustment glide lock system there beautiful and really perfect except for the pins and color stuff and I really like the the easiness of you if you want to change straps and mix it up a little the easy takeaway bracelet the, the mechanism there really really great uh, another positive thing is the 60 60 guarantee I mean we have that in Sweden on all watches if you buy them from on an online store you get at least 14 days of uh, uh, making up your mind and return the watch if you didn't like it but this is great that Christopher Ward are offering 60 days that's two months you can have it at home try it on with the plastic on of course and uh, do not adjust the bracelet but if you feel uncertain send it back and you get a full refund and then the 60 months of warranty five year warranty on the movement that's really something that's really 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 something and then another positive is the price i mean as i said in the intro i was looking for a rolex Expl polar explorer homage uh, or watch that gives you the hint of being a polar explorer or gives you the look of it but is not exactly it i had the pagani design one that looks looked almost exactly the same but i don't want it to be a complete kind of a homage ripoff i just wanted it to have the design elements and christopher ward they give you that they have their own designs they have grown on me and on many others watch collectors as a brand and they are really knocking it out of the park with these watches uh, I mean they're just great so uh, let's sell it over and take a look at the loom and here we are the loom test for both watches here they are Sealander on the left and the Trident Pro on the right as you can see we have two totally different colors of loom even though the loom applied is the same type the trident pro on the right is green and it actually has a fully loomed bezel and the sealander on the left doesn't have a rot rotatable bezel so it's not loomed at all evenly applied looking really sharp shining really bright when fully loomed up and actually, from my experience, I've actually slept with both of these watches and they're actually, they're gonna last you all night long. Sure, the loom fades in a while as it does with all watches, but it's, it's, it lasting, it's lasting you all night. And uh, yeah, this is as far away as I can come with my arm. As you can see, fully legible, even then from all angles. Really nice job with the loom, Christopher Ward. Nice job. Okay, that's it guys. The C63 Sealander GMT from Christopher Ward and the C60 Trident Pro 600 from Christopher Ward. Two great, great watches that I cannot recommend enough. And if you, uh, if you had to choose, which one would you go for? The white one or the black one? So uh, let me know in the comments below. 
I hope you find the yeah, I hope you found the video interesting and I hope you found it uh, that it gave you something and if you did so if you liked it please consider giving it a thumbs up as always if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down tell me what you didn't like and I'm gonna do my best to do better in the next one and if you loved it if you happen to love it please consider subscribing until I see you again, and I really hope that I do, do have a great day, my friends. Bye-bye.